guys, good morning. Welcome sa ating part 4 ng ating TLE Electricity videos. Okay? So, nung part 3 is pinag-usapan natin yung mga uh, types of electrical circuit, uh, types of current, parts of simple electrical circuit, and the types of, or types of um, circuits. Wherein, pag sinabi natin, type of electric current, AC, DC, series circuit, there is a continuous flow of electricity coming from the source down to the load and back to the source again four parts of a simple electrical circuit the load the switch the con uh, the switch or control the source and the path okay and types of simple circuit and yan si parallel si series and series parallel kung hindi nyo uh, kung gusto nyo balikan nyo yung ating previous videos para ma-inline kayo sa ating hot topics and para updated na rin kayo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment na rin kayo ng mga questions and contents na pwede natin pag-usapan. Don't forget to hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa ating mga bago videos. So, in this video, part 4, we're going to discuss naman the application. Diba? Natapos na natin ang types of electrical circuit. Series parallel and series parallel. So, paano naman siya? Kaya-apply na natin sa Ohm's Law. Okay? So, ang part Part 4 topics for today is the Ohm's Law in Household Electrical House Wiring. The series circuit wherein we are going to apply the Ohm's Law, the parallel circuit and the Ohm's Law application. At lastly, is yung mga questions which does requires the Ohm's Law application. Itong Ohm's Law, lagi siyang lumalabas sa mga questions. Hindi siya mawawala kasi this is the application wherein nalaman mo na kung paano ba talaga magkakaroon na connection between the series and parallel. So, there is always a connection between current, between resistance, and between voltage. So, ibig sabihin, this does talk us about the Ohm's Law in Household Electrical House Wiring. So, punta muna tayo dun sa ating unang topic. We're in the Ohm's Law in Household Electrical House Wiring. Pag Ohm's Law, sikat na sikat dyan si George Simon Ohm. O, oh, ba? Kasi, he was discovered or he discovered the uh, Ohm's law wherein it deals Ohm's law deals between the relationship of the voltage, the current and the resistance wherein sabi sa Ohm's law it does states that the current is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance so ibig sabihin pag mataas si current ganun din kata pata pataas si voltage bakit kasi current it does state that current is the amount of electron. ba? Pag voltage naman, siya naman yung magpo-push ng electrons for it to move. At pag resistance, siya yung magre-resist or mag a ng amount of current. So, ibig sabihin, pag mataas si current, dapat mataas din si voltage. Bakit? Kasi, kung yung amount ng electron is mataas, dapat malakas din yung pag-push sa kanya para gumalaw. So, pag mataas si current, mataas din dapat si voltage. Yun yung first relationship ni current at saka ni voltage according to Ohm's law. And this was inversely proportional to resistance. Bakit? Kasi nga, si resistance, siya yung magre-resist. Siya yung mag ng electrons na pwede lang pumasok sa isang certain appliance. Again, Ohm's law was discovered by George Simon Ohm, a German physicist, which states that the current is directly proportional to voltage but inversely proportional to its resistance. Okay, so punta tayo dun sa quantities sa mga nandyan sa loob ng isang ohms law. The first quantity is the current, okay? Current is it what flows on the wire. Simply like water flowing in the river. Okay? Ano ba yung mga uh, nagpo-flow dyan sa wire? So, ibig sabihin, these are the amount of electrons passing through the wire. So, ibig sabihin, kung gano'ng kadami yung electrons na present do sa wire na pwedeng mag-flow, yan ay yung current. So, it indicates also or measured in amperes. Okay? So, these are the current. Tatandaan nyo lagi ito kasi lumalabas yung tanong na ito. Ang current po ay nag-flow from negative to positive on the surface of a conductor. Hindi siya positive to negative or hindi siya uh, positive to negative. Ang sagot, negative to positive po. We're in on how to find the current. There are two formulas, the VIR and the PIV. Mahalaga yung mga trick triangle natin kasi yung trick triangle natin, sila yung mga mag 
um, sasalaba sa atin. Kasi kung hindi mo alam yung formulas, gawa ka lang dyan ng triangle. Pag nagawa mo yung triangle na yan, lagay mo si V sa taas, si I, si R, si P, si I, at saka si V. Okay, the formula on how we can find the current is simply divide V to R. Okay? Okay, so in order for us to get the value of the current is we're going to divide V to R or the voltage to resistance and we're going to divide also P or the wattage to voltage. Again, quantities or the current is the amount of electrons passing through the conductor. Okay, next quantity is the voltage. Pag sinabi natin voltage, this is a difference in electrical potential between two points in a circuit, which it is the push or pressure behind current flow through a circuit and it is measured in volts. Kumbaga, siya yung magtutula. Kung ga, kaya nga sinasabi kanina ni Ohm's law na it is directly connected si voltage at saka si current. Bakit? Kasi kung amount ni current is mataas, dapat malakas din yung pag-push or pressure para gumalaw yung ating kuryente dun sa isang circuit and it was measured in voltage. So, to find voltage, simply multiply current times resistance and if we're going to uh, define the voltage with the given values are watts and current is we're going to divide current or we're going to divide watts to current. Okay? So, next is yung ating resistance. Okay? Pag sinabi natin yung resistance, okay guys, Pag sinabi natin resistance, this determines how much current flow through a, um, sa isang, uh, circuit, okay? Sa isang component, okay? So, siya yung magda-determine kung ilang ba talaga yung current flow na pwede or yung kaya. So, normally, ang ginagamit dyan is mga resistors para makontrol yung current voltage and current levels. Wherein, pag mataas talaga yung resistance, ang allows lang niya, is konti lang yung electron na pwapayagan niya. At pag mababa naman yung resistance, syempre, it does indicate a large amount of electron or current to flow. Resistance measured in ohms. Okay? So, in order to find the value of resistance, we're going to divide voltage over current. And lastly, is yung ating watts or yung power. Pag sinabi natin power, isa lang yan. It is the rate of doing work. Okay, so it is the amount of current times the voltage level at a given point which is measured in watts or wattage. Kaya nga sa tinawag na it is the rate of doing work. And for us to find power, we're going to divide or to multiply from current times voltage. Simply tatlo ang formulas na ginagamit natin sa power. The first formula is P is equal to I times E. Okay, sulat ko lang dito. P Parang hindi nyo makita. Is equal to I times E. P is equal to E squared over R. And P is equal to I squared times R. Okay. So, tatlo yung formulas na ginagamit natin dyan. P is equal to I times E. P is equal to E squared over R. And P is equal to I squared times R. So, yung formulas na gagamitin ninyo, it depends upon the values na presented dun sa isang question. Kung ang values presented sa isang question is current and voltage, then we're going to use the P is equal to I times E. If the given values concerned is E square, uh, voltage and resistance, then we're going to use the E squared over R. And if the values presented are I or current at saka resistance, then we're going to use the I squared times R. Amaya is mag-answer tayo or sa, uh, sa mga susunod videos is mag-answer tayo ng mga questions which in relate on how we uh, can find the amperes, the voltage, the watts, and yung ating resistance or yung ating gagamitan natin ng ohms law. <clears throat> okay? So, series circuit, Ohm's law application. So, pag sinamin natin Ohm's law application sa series circuit, these are loads are connected end-to-end. -end. So, ibig kaya nga, straight line, connected like a chain, connected end-to-end. -end. Yan lang kayo tatandaan nyo, pag series end-to-end. -end. Pag parallel, side-by-side, -side, okay? 
Okay, the current is same sa lahat. Pagka series, same. IT is equal to I, I is equal to I2 is equal to I3. Ibig sabihin, same ang series. Pag current, series, same ang current. Pag sinag na voltage naman, equal to the sum. Okay, series, pag current, same. Series, pag voltage, sum. Okay, ibig sabihin, VT is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Pag naman resistance, ibig sabi, pares lang din yan. RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay. Pagka, um, para the connection naman, okay, so dito marami tayong um, formulas na ginagamit, lalo na pag resistance ang hinahanap natin dito. Okay, pag para sa circuit, loads are connected side by side. Kanina, sa series, connected end to end. Loads are connected side by side pag parallel connection. Kaya nga sa tinawag na independent from each other. We're in, pag current, kung kanina sa current, sa series ay same. IT is equal to I1, is equal to I2, is equal to I3. Dito naman, is the current is IT is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay, kabalik na din siya ni series circuit pag sa in terms of voltage. Bakit si series kanina, VT is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Ito naman, pag para circuit voltage drop is the same. Okay? VT is equal to V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3. And pag resistance naman, ang formula na ginagamit natin ay ito. 1 is over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R2. And the resistance, if you are going to use the parallel circuit in Ohm's law application, it just differs upon the number of values presented. Pag isa lang ang values presented, ibig sabihin, ang kakamitan natin is P is equal to R over N. Okay? R over N. Pag dalawa ang values, P is equal to um, R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. So, ibig sabihin, pag isa, ito ay para lang sa isa, okay, one value, ito naman ay para sa dalawang value. At ito is ginagamit if you have three or more, pag three pataas. So, ibig sabihin, ang formula na gagamitin mo pag ang value in a parallel connection is isa lang, P is equal to R over N. Pero pag dalawa, R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. At pag tatlo, 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay. So, ito yung mga sinasabi ko kanina. If we are going to find the formula, in if we are going to find power, here's the formula. P is equal to I times E. P is equal to E squared over R. P is equal to I squared times R. Okay? So, punta tayo dito. Okay, application tayo ng Ohm's Law. Okay, the first question is, what amount of current does a 40 watt fluorescent lamp draw from a 220 volt power source? Ibig sabihin, ano daw yung amount ng current? Ang hinahanap natin is current. So, ibig sabihin, ang formulas na pwede lang natin is P is, uh, I is equal to P over E and I is equal to E over R. So, ang, give, uh, ang first na gagawin natin diyan, pagka tayo ay mag-answer uh, ng mga questions, sumunod pa rin tayo doon sa mga uh, different procedures. The first procedure, ano ba yung tinatanong? What is us? Ano ba yung natin? The first, ang hinahinap natin is yung current. ba? Diba? So, ano yung, mga, ano yung hinahinap natin? Current. Next, ano yung mga givens? Okay, ang given natin is 40 watt fluorescent lamp or 40 watts and 220 volt. From the given, uh, from what we presented, the first thing that we are going to do is find what is us, which is current, and the second is to know what are the given values presented. At pag nakuha natin yung hinahanap natin, at naibigay na rin natin kung ano yung mga kailangan, iisipin na natin kung ano ba yung formula na pwede natin gamitin. Kasi dalawang formula natin na pwede gamitin pag hinahanap natin yung current, ba? Diba? yung uh, I is equal to P over E and I is equal to E over R. So, from the given vol uh, from the given data, 40 watts and 220 volts, what, which of the following formula will be suited? So, the suited formula will be 
I is equal to P over V. Diba? Kasi, yung 40 watts, para siya sa P, which uh, states power. At yung 220 volt, para naman siya sa voltage. So, from the given values presented, 40 watts and 220 volt, normally, ang gagamitin natin formula, and the specific formula talaga is suited na suited yung I is equal to P over V. Bakit? Kasi na function niya or naibigay niya yung mga given values na pwede nating win. So, ang gagawin natin, 40 divided by 220, divide lang natin siya. Ang sagot natin is 0.18 amperes. Sana ay uh, gawin natin lagi itong mga uh, steps natin. Una, hanapin natin yung what is us. Ano ba yung mga given values? Next is, ano ba yung pwede natin gamitin formula based on the given values presented? Okay, so punta tayo dito sa Q2 natin. Okay, question 2. Okay, so apply ulit natin yung ating methods. Number, question 2, what is the voltage required by an automatic pressure cooker having a resistance of 30 ohms and when the current flowing is 8 amperes? Okay, so the first thing is find what is us. Okay, what is us ba? Ang sabi dyan, what is the voltage? Ibig sabihin, pag hinahanap natin, voltage, then what is us is voltage. Okay? Next. Lipat ko to. Yan. Okay, next. What are given? Pag sinabi natin, what, ano ba yung mga given? Okay, 30 ohms and 8 amperes. From the given uh, datas, ay nahanap natin is voltage at ang given values are 30 ohms and 8 amperes. Ano naman yung formula na gagamitin natin? Definitely, ang magsusot dyan na formula is the VIR. ba? Kasi meron tayong uh, dalawang formulas. The P is, the E is equal to P over I and V is equal to I times R. But the given values presented is 30 ohms and 8 amperes which 30 ohms stands with the resistance and 8 amperes starts, stands for the current. Therefore, we're going to multiply 30 times 8 or 8 times 30 is equal to 240 volts. Okay? So, up next, para sa ating part 5, magkakaroon tayo ng mas marami pang questions using the applications of the Ohm's Law. Okay guys, sana is may natutunan kayo and tune in sa ating videos. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating mga part 5. Okay, if you want na magkaroon pa tayo ng ibang talakaya and at the same time is may mga questions kayo na pwedeng erase or question is kindly comment. Leave your comments below. Uh, thank you guys. God bless.